I wanted to talk a little bit about what I think is the hardest thing for beginning guitarists to do. Um, when you talk about absolutes, the hardest thing might be different for each person, but this is um, a very common thing that is the hardest thing for many musicians, actually, at you know different parts of their um, progress. But I think it's hardest for beginning musicians, especially if it's your first instrument. Um, and it kind of ties in with a question people ask really often about chords. A lot of people, um, when they're first learning to play guitar, go straight to chords. A lot of instruction takes you straight to chords. And um, a lot of instruction teaches you chords that are maybe not actually beginner chords. They should be teaching you something a little easier or some skills that lead up to playing those chords. And so when we're new at it and we're, you know, laying our fingers down and making our shapes and then we strum and we hear some buzzes or twangs or dead strings, uh, we feel like that doesn't sound good. And um, I guess that's true. It, uh, you know, we play music because we want to hear a beautiful sound. And the thing that I think is the hardest thing to do when um, guitar is your first instrument and you are a beginning musician, or maybe even if you sometimes, especially if you've played piano or harp <laughs> or other instruments, um, the hardest thing to do when you're playing guitar for the first time and you make a chord and it sounds twangy and bumbly is to let it be. Uh, maybe play the Paul McCartney song a few times and get that in your head and just let it feel more comfortable to uh, try to make that sound and have it not come out quite right. When you're new at playing music, you have to try to do something that you can't do yet. It's true in athletics too. Um, it might help if you've ever played baseball or learn to hit a golf ball. If you play golf, you had to learn. And when you were new at it, you would miss a lot. And if you at least hit the ball, that was success. And uh, let alone get it on the green or get a hole in one. So when we're new at making guitar chords and we expect them to sound good right away, that's kind of like you're at your first golf lesson and you expect to get the ball on the green right away. That it might not happen. Um, so the other thing that happens is, say uh, you're playing the harp, all you have to do is pluck a string, or you can pluck, um, you know, a few strings. And it's very easy at your first lesson, on your first attempt, to get a pretty sound. Piano is the same way. You could play a few notes, get a very pretty sound. Guitar is not like that. Um, when you, you know, squeeze your frets, it's very easy to get a twang, it's very easy to get a dead note, and um, for a while we have to just let it be. And uh, there are things we can do eventually to clean it up. Um, one of the best things we can do is spend some time just playing notes. Instead of trying to make a whole, whoops, I don't have my uh, strap on. Spend some time in my series called um, Developing Good Guitar Technique. We spend some time just making notes um, in my class and on some of my other YouTube lessons. This is five notes that a beginner can learn and you can make a lot of nice sounding music and when you play notes what's happening is um, you're developing some strength and coordination. That same strength and coordination will help you make your chords sound cleaner. It's less discouraging to make some nice sounds just playing one note at a time. Uh, you can play parts of your chord, play two or three notes of the chord, and maybe don't try to play the whole thing. And um, so there are lots of things we can do to clean up the sound, but the main thing I wanted to talk about just now um, it's important to, when, when you're practicing your chords, I usually tell people half the time when you're working on your chords, just play them anyway. 
and uh, go back and forth and back and forth. Take a couple chords, one that you're good at, one that you're not good at, and just play like, you know, if G is new, G and then D. Just doing this, even if they don't sound good. At first, uh, it's the number of times that you change and uh, make those chord changes that makes you get quicker. Um, so when we slow down and agonize over every buzzy note, that can slow down our progress. So half the time, uh, when you spend when you're focusing on your chords, half the time just make them anyway and let them be buzzy or clunky or whatever they are. And then the other half of the time, if you want to examine what's going on, I have other lessons about you know techniques and uh, that. That series is called uh, How to Make Your Fingers Reach Chord Shapes on the Guitar. And there's different pointers for different chords and some principles that help with all your chords. Um, but uh, focus on those little, little details part of the time, not all the time. The, one of the best things you could do is just play music anyway. And when you have clunky notes, let it be.